Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. I've been harvesting yucca leaves off of this plant for years and years. Let's go ahead and make some cordage and we'll make a bow drill bowstring. Let me just show you how I strip the fibers out of this. Got the tablespoon out again. You can use the spine of your knife, but I find this to be a lot easier. Let me show you this. Look at how nice those fibers are. Yucca fibers are so strong. Makes a very strong cordage. This will be the knot that goes up into my bow. You're going to take and twist this bundle until it's tight. Then just take the whole bundle, bring it to the left. Take this other bundle, twist it to the right, bring it to the left, and then repeat. Oh good, the sun's coming out, that'll make for a better shot. So, let me keep on going till it comes time for a splice and I'll attempt to show you how I like to splice it. This is very thin and it's short. We're gonna take our next piece and lay it in beside that and twist it in, just like we've been doing all along. Just twist it on in there. Bring it over to the left. Then take the tail of that one we just added and put it over on this other side. Twist it in there and just keep on going. I ended up with 24 inches. I like to burnish it. It kind of evens out the weave and stretches it out a little bit. Twist to 180 degrees. And I'm gonna use a little toggle right in the end of it. Just untwist it. Make a big opening. Stick it in there. That is a very strong cordage. You can use this for several bow drill fires. I guess it eventually come apart, but I've never had one come apart. I've used them over and over and over again. Let's get set up and go ahead and try it with the water oak bow drill set. All right, I have wet the yucca bow string. It'll grip the spindle better like that. Let's put it in the handheld bow. I'm going to tighten it up. Hold on.
Yeah, we got a good ember right there. Let's let it coalesce some. And the spindle one wore off funny. Let's take a look at the bowstring. There's nothing wrong with that bowstring. That's gonna last for several bow drill friction fires. And this is the bearing block end. Bowstring did good, and I'm going to uh, make another divot, straighten up the tip of my spindle. I think I want to try another one. Hold on. usually don't like for that divot to go pointy. I usually correct the spindle tip and I'm going to leave it like it is. there and we've got some melted fat wood in that new divot
<laughs> yeah, it's going to stay lit. All right, y'all. If you've ever tried reverse wrap technique, how about letting me know? Have you ever used something durable like yucca? Have you ever turned it into a bowstring and tried it out? Contact me, make some comments, and let me know uh, what you've done as far as making cordage and how you used it. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.